welcome to the third in our Lenten series of reflections uh, for the Nottingham and Derby district. My name is the Reverend Andy File and chair of the district and this week continuing our thinking through that wonderful hymn of Charles Wesley, Love Divine, we come to the phrase pure and spotless let us be. We think on Jesus entering Jerusalem and going to the temple and what he sees there and how he responds to it. Let us pray. Lord God, who shows us in Jesus the depth of your love and the heart of your compassion, we thank you for the love and compassion he has for us and for all your people. We see in Jesus the challenge of what it means to live by your ways and for your kingdom standards. So help us as your people to respond justly and rightly. In the name of Christ. Amen. The Bible reading for today is from Mark's Gospel in chapter 11. Jesus enters the temple. And they come to Jerusalem. And Jesus went into the temple. began to cast out them that sold and bought in the temple. And overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves. And would not suffer that any man should carry any vessel through the temple. And he taught, saying unto them, Is it not written, my house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer. But ye have made it a den of thieves. And the scribes and chief priests heard it and sought how they might destroy him. For they feared him, because all the people was astonished at his doctrine. And when even was come, he went out of the city. I wonder how you respond to that reading, that familiar reading of Jesus. Seeing Jesus angry, sometimes I guess we struggle with anger. We see Jesus in the temple and we wonder. He blew his top. This was not the meek, mild Sunday school Jesus whose portrait hung on the wall of the Sunday school. Reconciling an angry Jesus is difficult. The anger observed in Jesus is what we see in so many angry people around us. How do we reconcile Jesus' anger and actions in our minds and hearts? We have a cerebral understanding that there is an appropriate righteous anger, as spoken of in Scripture here and displayed by Christ in this passage. We wrestle with it. How can we harness anger and yet express it righteously? We look to Jesus for clarity. In this passage, Jesus is making a stand for all things holy. He was trying to impress upon the people the holiness of God and his temple. Jesus' anger was just and flawlessly righteous. The temple encounter gives us a small insight into the mind of God. God is jealous for righteousness and is incensed when sinful people trample all over his holiness. How do we follow Christ's lead? We desire to be the ones who stand white hot for God in the face of unrighteousness. As Christian followers, disciples of Jesus, were totally appropriate getting upset over our own sin. Evil should incense us. This side of heaven, I suppose, will continue to struggle with righteous anger as well as fear and doubt. We continue to thank God for his grace and mercy, even as we defile his temple and use Christ for personal worldly gain so often. 
we see Christ in the temple and we ask the question what it means to stand up for what is right, to be pure and spotless. We pray that God will change us into his likeness and show us how to stand for justice. Thank you for listening again today. I hope you found the reflection helpful. I look forward to joining you again next Wednesday at 7. We end listening to the hymn, Show Me How to Stand for Justice. Show me how to stand for justice, how to work for what is right, how to challenge false assumptions, how to walk within the light. May I learn to share more freely in a world so full of greed. Show by the life I choose to lead. Teach my heart to treasure mercy whether given or received for my need has not diminished since the day I first believed. Let me see no satisfaction boasting of what I have done but rejoice that I am pardoned and accepted by your son gladly I embrace a lifestyle modeled on your living word in humility submitting to the truth which i have heard make me conscious of your presence every day in all i do by your spirit's gracious prompting may i learn to walk with you of your presence every day in all I do by your spirit's gracious prompting may I learn to walk